Check out this shirt. Are you ready for the eclipse? Less than a month, the solar eclipse, total solar eclipse is coming across the middle of Texas. Stay tuned and in this video, I will show you how I am going to film the solar eclipse along with some sample shooting of the actual sun right now without an eclipse. Stay tuned. The eclipse is going to go right across the middle of Texas, and I just happen to have reservations at a campsite right in the center of the path. All right, let me show you my setup that I'm going to use. I haven't tested it yet. I'm getting ready to. Hopefully it works good. Got my little camp chair. All right, so I got my tripod set up with my C100 Mark II on it, and I was able to use my iPad as a monitor. because I didn't want to try to look at this little screen the whole time when I'm shooting straight up to the sun. But uh, let me tell you about my setup a little bit. This is a C100 Mark II camera. I've had this thing for several years. One of my, actually it's my favorite camera of all time. The lens I have on it is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens. Now, the C100 Mark II has a crop sensor in it, 1.5 crop sensor, which means this is, this is no longer a 70 to 200. With the crop sensor at a 1.5 that the C100 has, it is actually a 105 millimeter to 300 millimeter. And to get even closer, I added a 2X converter to it. So, this actually will go up to 600 millimeters. Today I'll be filming with 600 millimeter. To get as close as I can to the sun, I'm curious how it's gonna work, but it's best to test all this stuff out now instead of trying to do it during the actual eclipse when you only have a few minutes of total eclipse going on. But today is my test run. Now to make sure I don't fry my sensors out, I have a filter, ND filter. Um, most of my filters that I own are like ND17, ND20 filter, ND30 filter. This is actually an ND100,000 filter. So it's kind of like a welding mask. Supposed to be rated for actually filming the sun. There's a couple things I'm really uh, curious about. One, how small is the sun going to be with the 600 millimeter lens? The second thing I'm curious about is how fast is the sun with the Earth's rotation going to move across the picture, across the frame, before I have to readjust the camera again. This is why I'm doing a test run today to find these things out. So, let's get this dark, dark filter on here. A few specks of dust on the inside. this filter on and then during the total eclipse I'm gonna to have to take it off. I'm curious how that's gonna go. I'm definitely not gonna take it off in the full sun today. Alright let's turn everything back on. I also my camera has built in ND filters. It's got three different levels and I have it on the darkest level to start out with. tell I'm gonna to have to adjust my arm here way up there. All right let's find the sun again.
It's actually looking pretty good. You need a little wind vibrates it. And there's the sun. The edges are a little blurry. I don't know if I can get it any more in focus than that. It's a very fine tune. Screen for my. It actually looks pretty good. See it moving. The wind is blowing this, shaking my tripod a little bit, and you can definitely see it in the video itself. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. The day of, instead of setting this up, see how it's moving back and forth with the wind? The day of, this is going on its own separate tripod, or I'm going to mount it to a table or to a tripod or something but not to this tripod because it shakes and you can see the shaking on the actual video so it's a good thing I did a test run that's one thing I got to change in my setup this look at it shaking and I can see it shaking in the video too wind blowing the chair into the high dollar iPod iPad today's a learning day folks today is a learning day I actually turn this where I can see it while I'm standing so I'm not gonna be sitting today really there, I can see that better. Look the chair over here. Been shooting for five minutes. It's only moved that far across the screen that's this wide. So that's pretty good. I'm not going to have to adjust it very often at all. But that's five minutes, and the total eclipse is supposed to be four and a half minutes that's perfect because because it goes halfway across the screen in five minutes that means if I time it right I'll be able to get it partial eclipse to a full eclipse across the screen and then back into a partial eclipse 600 millimeters perfect setup for this people and you can also zoom in on post so there's that so now you see how to set up um, 600 millimeter lens in my opinion is perfect because you'll be able to see it go across the screen and it's pretty big I'll show you it's pretty big on the screen without even having to zoom in the ND filter looks like it's working really good and I'm actually using it with ND filter built in ND filter on its darkest setting also and it's pretty bright right now I'm at 8 probably 850 ISO which is the peak best ISO to set this camera at I'm at f-stop 2.8 I can play with that a little that's a little darker That might even be better. Lower that f-stop down. That 
it's f stop 6.3 it's totally dark there okay it right there f 5.0 iso 850 i can actually see sunspots on the sun right now that is freaking awesome That's freaking awesome. That's it. F5.0, 600 millimeter lens, ISO 850. That's if you have a C100 Mark II. This is gonna be awesome. Perfect setup. Okay, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the app that I use to actually use my iPad as a monitor. Um, with the latest update on the iPad iOS software, uh, you can actually use your iPad as a monitor now. But you do need a capture card, which looks like this. And you also need an app to make it work. The best app I've found to use is the Cam X app. This is the Cam X app right here. Um, so what you do is when you push on it, it'll say you're not connected. So then we plug in the connector. Just plugged it in. And now we are live. Let's turn down the audio. Okay, so it does, uh, you can hear the audio coming through the camera and you can see the video coming through the camera. When you touch the screen, all the stuff along the bottom appears. So you can touch the screen and you can click the camera button and it takes a picture. See down the right hand corner, that's a picture it just took. It shows it and then it goes away. Uh, the red button is you can actually record video there it's recording video now I have found that the video record is a little quirky so let's turn that back off I tried to record and I couldn't get it to stop recording so I had to just exit out of the app and of course it lost the video file when I did that so I would suggest Recording with your camera and not with the iPad, which is what you're going to do anyway, right? So touch the screen again And you got settings on the side the bottom right. These are the different settings you can use I really like this app. It's going to work out really well for taking still shots of the Eclipse Because while the camera is recording I can just keep hitting that little uh, That little Boop, take a picture, take another picture. So the whole time I can be doing that. And then you go to your pictures on your iPad and there they are. There's the pictures I just now took back into the Camex app and we're back. Anything that has a HDMI out, you can use this as a monitor. I mean, you could hook up a fire stick to it. You could hook up your computer to it. It's a very cool app. So yeah, I would highly suggest Cam X. It's also free. That's an added bonus. That's a wrap. This is going to be awesome.